Gute. In the latest Koki newsletter, I've seen a project called Speech Cat. <laughs> no, it's probably pronounced Speech Cat. And it's a project by a guy called Pete Warden. So, let's find out who that guy is. Gude. Hacky, tacky, nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Who has been tech lead on TensorFlow Mobile at Google? Now at Stanford. Oh, quite impressive. Wow, over 20k followers on Twitter. So, hey Pete, my friend. Mm. Sorry for that embarrassing... Ah, let's go into it, come. Before going into detail, let's just take a look on the obvious. It's running on Linux or Raspberry Pi with a revision higher than 1. So Raspberry Pi 0 or 1 seems not to be supported. It's a command line tool. It's running completely offline. It's based on Pulse Audio and it uses Koki's speech-to-text technology. So that's the obvious parts. Now let's go and take a closer look. For this test I will use a Raspberry Pi. It should be a version 3, but I'm not quite sure if it is, but I will find out. So let's start by installing the cable. In my case it's enough to connect the power and the Ethernet cable because I will work remote using SSH. So put it down here and now let's put it on. And let's figure out the IP address of the of the Raspberry Pi. Let's connect using SSH. So first of all, as it's not supported using a Raspberry Pi 1, uh, let's check its revision by using proc CPU info and its uh, model here, Raspberry Pi 3 model B. So this should be enough for SpeechCat. So let's jump to the browser and go to github.com Pete Warden SpeechCat. I think that cat, <laughs> it's, everything is better with cat content. Isn't that one of the fundamentals how the internet works? Cat content. To install Raspberry Pi, download latest Debian package. So I'll copy its link address. Let's go to OpiPi speak speech catch. So So, download successfully completed. As it's a Debian package, I think, okay, let's install it using sudo. But as the Raspberry Pi has no built-in microphone, it's time for... Let's check this and plug it in the Raspberry Pi. The green light is on. Maybe let's check this. So. Seems at least to be detected. It took quite some time, but it has been succeeded. But let's check by querying the packet manager. Yeah, okay, so SpeechCat is installed. Okay, so let's check. There's a library missing, so Lipsocks.
lip socks. Lip socks. Okay. Let's try installing that package. Speech cat again. Okay, so now we are a step further. Hello? Hmm. Not sure if this is co detected correctly. So this does not work. Is it recognizing German? I mean, hello means hallo. Hallo? Das ist ein Test. Is the raspberry too slow? So let's Oh, okay, so each cat is consuming lots of CPU power. Okay, let's check the documentation usage system audio. What I've seen is we have language support. So far this documentation, American English, but the default we're looking for language. Lung environment variable. Okay, so let's check. Ah, okay, maybe it's detected by default. Oh. In German we say, wer lesen kann, ist klar ein Vorteil. So. <laughs> what's, what's wrong? So, as it's clearly written on the screen, score not found, he's looking for a DE model. Because when I get documentation right, he's looking in the environment variables and lang is set to driven. So to be sure, let's start it this way. I'm not sure what is meant by score and not found. Is there anything etc? Each cat models. Okay, there's stuff inside. This seems to be the actual speech recognition model with 46 of megabytes. Score not found. Maybe I'll start it with English. So let's check the English version. Let's see if this works better. Okay, there's that hint of missing scorer. Isn't printed now. This seems to be better. I think this works better. Hello, this is a test. This definitely works much better than the German version. Hello again. But at least it's 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 working definitely in English language. It's not fast, or maybe I'm doing something wrong right now, but it's not really fast. It's
This is a test. Okay, it's working good in English language, but I'd like to figure out what the problem with that scorer is here. So let's go back to that model directory. Um, let's check this compared to this. We have an alphabet text, a license. Ah, we have that large vocabulary scorer file, which is in the English version, is missing in the German directory. So let's check. Log testing is missing also. Model card is in model line. Ah, we have that no scorer license. As it depends on Koki's STT technology, maybe it's worth a look for that scorer thing on the Koki side. Models, STT models, German. Let's take a look here. Model details, performance, metrics, model, enter email to download. Maybe that score or file is, is useful, so, but it's useless to download it here. Let's just copy the URL and let's check. The directory here and download it direct. Yeah. No permission. Okay, that makes sense. So let's give it another try in the German version. Ah, so now the Scora file is not printed as a, as a warning. So let's give it a try. Das ist ein Test. Ignition is working um, using USB connected microphone input. Now let's check the other way. So SpeechCat also can read or transcribe text from pre-recorded WAV files. Uh, for that, I have um, put three WAV files from my recording in progress new Torsten neutral, neutral data set copied to my Raspberry Pi, and I have the text I've spoken in each of these recordings. So let's first of all start with that file name and see what we get. Speech catch. And the file name. Originally, I have spoken, er hatte sich einfach mir gegenüber hingesetzt und angefangen zu essen. Is transcribed to, der hat es sich einfach Megan über hingesetzt und angefangen zu essen. So, uh, it's not really a perfect match. There are words that match, but it's, mm, it's, it's, it's uh, not really optimal. Let's check the next one. Spoken is, ich glaube fest daran, dass Menschen Großes erreichen können, wenn wir uns gegenseitig vertrauen und an einer gemeinsamen Vision arbeiten. Let's see what we get. Oh, ich glaube fest daran, dass Menschen Großes okay, erreichen können, wenn wir uns gegenseitig vertrauen und an einer gemeinsamen Vision arbeiten. So, that's really a good match. Okay, let's check the last one. Uh, spoken, es stürzt etwas vom Dach. Es stürzt etwas von Dach. So, as it's written on the documentation, SpeechCat depends on Koki STT, which depends on Mozilla Common Voice datasets. So, it might depend on your language and how good speech recognition is. But at least 
technically it's working depending maybe on the on the quality of your recording or whatever stuff like that so that should be all for my first impressions on speechcred version 0.0.2 time for summary i installed speechcred 002 on my raspberry pi 3 installation of debian package took a few minutes do not forget to install libsox library dependency if you encounter that warning printed on the command line saying a uh, scorer file is missing, take a look on Koki's STT model zoo and try to find a download file for your language and put it in the proper location. By default, SpeechCat will recognize the local the system locale and use it for speech recognition. So if you would like to change speech recognition language, you can pass the language code on the command line. Even if the CPU power is really high, I thought that speech recognition or speed of speech recognition is working great. And for direct input by microphone or by putting input from pre-recorded WAV files. So after all, I think SpeechCat is a really great project. Feel free to give it a try yourself if you are interested on running offline speech to text recognition maybe in a command line based environment. Before ending this video, there's one more thing. Projects like SpeechCat or Koki STT or various other speech recognition technology projects, mostly they depend on the work of Mozilla's common voice. So if you would really like to support an open voice future, please take a look to Mozilla Common Voice project and support and contribute, either by recording new phrases or validate recorded phrases by other people. Every contribution is really appreciated, is really helpful and will help having an open voice future for all of us. There's no software requirement. You do not need to install any kind of software. You do not need to register any kind of account. If you would like to, you can start support open voice future now so that's it for today if you like that video please feel free to share it leave a comment or give it a thumbs up and in general if you like that type of video i'm doing here on my channel feel free to subscribe to the channel so that's all for now wishing you a nice rest of the day and we will see us next time bye